Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and this is Reggae Boys Commentary. <clears throat> it is the match preview for Jamaica versus Suriname in the Caribbean Cup. Now, it's a must win scenario for Jamaica. The winner goes not only to the semi-finals of the Caribbean Cup, but also qualifies for the 2017 CONCACAF Gold Cup. Jamaica or Suriname will join Curaçao, Martinique and French Guyana in this prestigious tournament. What happens to the loser of this match? Well, they still have a chance to get to the Conquer of Gold Cup, but life will be much more easier, more harder you should say, because they'll be rustling it out with the likes of Trinidad and Tobago, with the likes of Antigua, and potentially St. Kitts and Nevis. And the best of those teams will play against the fifth place team from Central American qualifiers. Now that could be anybody. That could be Honduras, that could be Nicaragua, that could be Guatemala, that could be El Salvador, that could be Belize. <laughs> Jamaica should not put themselves in this sort of situation. We have the players and the squad to get the job done and that is exactly what we need to do. This Suriname team is beatable. Their last clean sheet was back in March this year. They've been conceding goals in the Caribbean Cup, some from open play, some from the dead ball situation, and some have honestly been quite soft. So there is an opportunity and there's a gap, especially through that central part of the game where they expose a lot of the space. Who the Jamaicans have in their arsenal to call upon? Well, there are a number of players that Jamaica have in store. You look at the likes of Omar Holness, what a fantastic player he is and a mercurial talent for the future for Jamaica. Corey Burke, who scored in Jamaica's 4-2 victory over Guyana a month ago. Michael Binns, another key player, part of this national team for Jamaica. One that will be looking to add a different dimension with his 6 foot 4 inch presence. In addition to him, you have the likes of Dino Williams and Alan Otti, who have been doing very well in the Red Stripe Premier League in Jamaica. Other midfield options that we have, despite Javon Watson being out and Kimar Taxi Lawrence being out, there is depth within this squad. In the midfield, you look at the likes of Ewan Grandison, Andrew Vanzi, and in defense, you look at O'Neill Fisher who plies his trade with the Seattle Sounders, who can play in a fullback sort of role. Damian Lowe, the son of Anandi Lowe. So there are options for Jamaica, Rosario Harriot who made his debut for Jamaica against South Korea last year. So there are options for Jamaica. Sean Francis is another left back option as well. So Jamaica do have talent to call upon. Is there a player that to be wary of for Suriname? Well, a key talisman of them is Dimitri Apai. He plays for W Connection in the Trinidad and Tobago Pro League and he has been banging in the goals for fun. He's definitely the key player to watch for them. My prediction for this encounter, you know, it's it's such a tough one because if you look at the head-to-head -head history, we've met each other four times, drawn twice, lost twice, won twice. The two times we beat them came in the first round of the 1998 World Cup qualifiers, where we beat Suriname 1-0 home and away, and the losses came back in 1966 where we lost 5-3, and the other loss came in the 1996 Caribbean Cup where we lost 3-1 on that occasion. So, mixed results. It's a match that could go either way. And Jamaica has not won a match at the National Stadium since 2012. So we're talking about four years. And I'm really desperate for us to end that drought. Uh, a little anxiety, yes. But I'm hoping that Theodore Tapa Whitmore will strut his stuff off the pitch for Jamaica like he did on the pitch 20 years ago against Suriname, scoring that opening goal against Suriname to guide our passage into the latter rounds of the 1998 World Cup qualifiers. On this occasion, as head coach, we're hoping that he'll be helping to, to guide us to a victory. I'm not going to make a prediction for this one right now, but I do think that Jamaica has enough to get the victory at the end of the day. I'm Simon Preston, this is Reggae Boys Commentary. Don't forget to like our Facebook page, Rega Boys Commentary. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Reggae Boys Commentary. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Will you be attending the game, Reggae Boys fans? Will you be going to the game? Have you bought your tickets as yet? Well, I certainly will be. I got my accreditation already, so I'm good to go. 
where that is concerned. What I'm going to do is a, a new feature on this channel. It's a match day experience video where I'll do little snippets of behind the scenes, like leaving like at the stadium, the reaction, getting some footage on the pitch if possible. In addition to that, my reaction if and when a goal scores, that sort of thing. And Riga Boys fans, also, if you're going to attend the game, tr come and look for me. We can do some fan cams after the game. I can interview you as fans at the end of the game to get to know your thoughts about the match and how proceedings went and get the videos on, on YouTube on Riga Boys commentary. Uh, I'm not the, the hardest person to find. Just look for the six foot six guy. I mean, that's me. <laughs> so definitely you can come and look for me. I'll wear my Reggae Boys jersey and you'll see that it very soon. So definitely look out for that video on Sunday. So it'll be two videos I'll be doing on Sunday. A match review for the Jamaica vs Suriname and in addition to that I will do a match day experience video. I'm looking forward to that so because not many YouTube channels, blogs, vlogs etc. don't do that sort of thing for international football but I'm definitely going to do my best and hopefully you all like it. So please subscribe. I'm at over 600 subscribers now. Thanks once again and help me push for 1,000 subscribers. That's my next goal. 2017, 2,000 subscribers, then 3,000, then, you know, the sky's the limit after that. I'm grateful for all of your support and I'll definitely continue to keep it going. Alright, thanks for watching.